Hello and welcome nail professionals. I'm Trish Rock, your salon consultant from nailsalonsuccesscoach.com. Have you ever thought about who are your ideal clients? Do you just have marketing that targets everybody? Or are you targeting a specific client that you love coming into your salon that you want to spend your time with? I want to show you how you can determine who your ideal client is, make life in your salon so much more fulfilling and also make your marketing so much easier. So what's the first thing? The first thing is to determine what it is that you love doing the most every day. What service is it that really fills you with joy and passion when you see that person booked in for that service and you think, wonderful, I'm so thrilled and I can't wait for 11 o'clock to come around. What is that service? Now, uh, as a nail professional or a beauty professional, there will be a lot of services that you're great at and that you love doing. But just choose the one. Choose one that you just love doing the most. Now, once you have determined that, also it's important to be dealing with people that you want to deal with. The more people that come into you that you absolutely love talking to, the more happy you're going to be during the day, right? So who is it that you really love dealing with? Who is your ideal person to come in and have an appointment? Who are they? What age are they? What sort of career do they have? Are they in corporate? Do they have their own business? Are they a stay-at-home mum? Uh, are they at home running their own business without children? Who exactly is your ideal client? Now in the later part of my career uh, in the nail industry, my ideal client was a businesswoman. Because I was interested in business, I was interested in property, investments, and I wanted to talk to people who knew about that. So that's what I loved talking about and that's who I wanted to come in and exchange energy with. So my ideal client, just to give you an idea of how you work this out, my ideal client was a person in their 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, any, well any age really, it, um, but as long as they were interested in talking about those things. So mostly they were in their 40s, 50s. Although I did have an 80 year old who was very well versed on business and she was terrific. But mostly 30s, 40s, 50s and in a corporate type career or their own business and um, interested in wealth building. They were my absolutely ideal clients and I loved it when they came in because I knew that I could have a really in-depth conversation with them. So who is that ideal client for you? Is it the same as me? Or perhaps you're young, uh, in your 20s perhaps, um, and you have a couple of young children at home? I think your ideal client would be the same as that. You would, you would really relate to someone going through exactly that same uh, stage of life. So whoever that is for you, your ideal client, who you love talking to the most, that will form part of your ideal client profile. Now, in an appointment situation, there really is a lot of energy exchange in that hour or hour and a half. And if you can uh, find uh, the person sitting across from you um, is really interesting and vibrant and full of energy and you have a fantastic energy exchange, that is just going to make your day flow so much better. And I know as a nail professional that uh, you can pretty much talk to anybody, right? We've all got the gift of the gab. However, some people are just a bit more interesting than others and that'll be different for you and it'll be different for everybody. So figure out what you love doing, figure out who it is that you wanna do that service on. And the next important thing is to find out how you are going to solve a problem for that client. 
Now there are a lot of clients out there who are not at your salon yet and they want to know what you can do for them. They want to know what problem you can solve and they want to know why they should come to you. So when I mean uh, solving a problem, this, let me explain that. There are some very busy people in this world, <laughs> very time poor. But they still want pampering and they still want to look great. Now, if you can solve that problem for them, they will come in. So if your marketing message is very precise and going to your exact target market and it says something like, are you time poor and yet still want to look your best? Come and enjoy our express manicure. 30 minutes in and out, no drying time. Now that message will have far greater impact on those clients than a general message of come and look great with our manicure. And of course, if you're targeting a, a mum at home who is super busy and all she wants is time out for herself, your message would be different. Your message would be, you deserve to be pampered and looked after as well. Come in and have a break from the day at our salon and be treated like a queen for an hour. Do you know what, whatever it is that is holding those clients back from coming to you, if you can solve that problem, they will come. And the final thing to remember is that people aren't coming to you just for a service. They're not coming to you just to have their nails done or a beauty service done. They are coming to you for an experience. They're coming to you for a feeling. And, and if you can give that to them, they will keep coming back. <laughs> and they will send their friends who will also be your ideal clients. So when you are putting your ideal client profile together, uh, what it is you're passionate about, who it is you want to have attract into your salon, what problem it is that you're solving, you need to include the feeling and the experience that the client is going to have when they come and, and see you at your salon. Now they can go and have a service anywhere. There's plenty of salons around. Why should they come to you? If you can offer a fantastic experience for them, the one that they're after, and give them that emotion, give them that feeling of uh, excitement and um, pampering and feeling like they absolutely love coming to your salon just because as soon as they walk in, they just get that wonderful surge of positive energy. If you can create that for them, that is something that they won't get at another salon and that is why they will come to you. So include that in your ideal client profile. That, that's included in what problem they want solved. So just be clear on your description of your ideal client and then craft a really succinct and targeted message to that person. Write it as if you were speaking to that one person. Uh, and depending on you know your which marketing method you're using, it can just be a short message or it can be a little bit longer. And once you've got this message, you need to then have the message targeted to where your clients are. Where are they hanging out? Uh, what clubs do they go to? What groups are they in? Where do they shop? Uh, if they are uh, at home, uh, perhaps they go to mother's groups, perhaps they go to morning groups, perhaps they go to uh, the gym. Uh, if they are a corporate woman, maybe you need to target your marketing to the office buildings or the businesses where they are the car parks, uh, the magazines that they read, uh, where they are online, what social media are they using, 
there's a whole range of places where um, you need to be marketing, uh, but there's a whole range of targeted places that you can put your exact message out there to attract your ideal clients. Now it may seem a little bit confusing in the beginning because you may feel you like all clients or um, you like doing all services. But if you can create a specific message for a specific person, your marketing will be so much more effective. But not only that, you will be attracting the clients that you love the most. And isn't that what we all want to do? Don't we all want to be successful doing what we love and loving what we do? If you can get this uh, ideal client profile perfected and get your marketing message perfected, you will be attracting your ideal clients. And what a thrill it's going to be for you to go to work every day doing exactly what you love. Your energy will be electric and your clients will just be talking about you. You'll be getting so many referrals and they'll all be your ideal clients as well. So remember, do what you love and you will get paid quite well uh, for loving what you do. I'm Trish Rock. NailSalonSuccessCoach.com is where you can find me, but you can also find me on Facebook at NailSalonSuccess. And I would love you to come and join our community and tell us about your salon and uh, how you attract your ideal clients. Remember, live passionately and live on purpose.